there is one planet in your chart which decides a thousand things that will happen to you any day. Yes, and today we are going to discuss 10 among those thousand. <laughs> the remaining 900 something is for some other day. <laughs> All right, welcome to Mahadasha. Mahadasha. Maha. Mahadasha. <laughs> Great Dasha, right? Maha means great, magnanimous. It's like huge, stupendous, okay, horrible. <laughs> All right, so the planet whose Maha Dasha you are running, they that planet decides almost everything in your life. You may think, oh no, it's, you know, the Antar Dasha. Well, yes. You may think it's Pratyantar. Oh, yes, you are not wrong. <laughs> but primarily... The Antar Dasha and Mahadasha, uh, the Antar and the Pratyantar Dashas, they either support the Mahadasha or they oppose. That is all they do. Nothing much. They do not decide what happens. So the planet that decides what happens is your Mahadasha Lord. And please do a comprehensive analysis using all factors of astrology before you jump into a conclusion. Okay. So, what does the Mahadasha Lord indicate? Number one, big secrets, it indicates your status. So, for example, suppose your uh, Jupiter Mahadasha is running and Jupiter is somehow not indicating uh, that your life is good. But suppose your Saturn Mahadasha starts. So, the Mahadasha has changed. And suppose Saturn is indicating that your life will be fabulous, okay? Then as soon as Saturn Mahadasha starts in, uh, you know, Saturn, Saturn Mercury or Saturn Mercury Antar Dasha, either ways, depending on your chart, there will be a significant change of status in your life. You, know, you, you will be in a different place, okay? So therefore, if your Mahadasha has changed or it is changing, then wait till the first, first, uh, first Pratyantar, of a different planet. So, suppose your Saturn Mahadasha starts. So, you know, Saturn Mahadasha starts with Saturn Antar Dasha, which also starts with Saturn Pratyantar. And after Saturn Mercury comes. So, you have to wait for Saturn, Saturn Mercury. Sometimes, you might have to wait for Saturn Mercury Antar Dasha because Saturn, Saturn Antar Dasha is known as Chidra Dasha. Chidra Dasha may not give you big changes in your life, okay? But nonetheless, it might give you some times. So, to be precise, you should either wait till Saturn, Saturn, Mercury or Saturn, Mercury. Okay, nonetheless, you will see difference when one, one new planet comes. So, Saturn, Saturn and then Mercury or Saturn, Mercury. You will see a drastic difference in your life. And if you are not seeing, then uh, maybe you have to wait. So, if you are in Saturn, Saturn and you are not seeing anything, then you have to wait till Mercury Antar Dasha. Okay, so the changes will be visible tangibly when another planet comes in the Mahadasha. So, it will decide your status. Number two, it will, it will decide if you will get married or not. Okay, so... Mahadasha decides if you will get married. If Mahadasha denies marriage, there is no marriage in the entire Mahadasha. You may like it or you may not, but that's the reality, okay? So Mahadasha will decide, It, of course, it will also decide if you are married, and you know, what's, what's the level of your married life. It will also decide all this, but primarily if you are unmarried, and if your Mahadasha is changing, you should watch the Mahadasha very carefully, okay? Otherwise, things may not go in your favor, okay? So, therefore, this is very important. And also, the other thing which Mahadasha decides, this is, you know, in point number two only, it is actually childbirth. So, if the Mahadasha denies childbirth for a man, then it is very difficult for a man to impregnate a lady, and if the Mahadasha denies children childbirth for a lady, it is impossible for her to conceive. Now, how it does it for male and female, that's a topic of some other day. All right, so these two events are decided exclusively by the Mahadasha, which means suppose your Mahadasha is denying marriage and then there is another 
the planet whose antardasha has come and that planet is very positive for marriage it cannot happen so what will happen in that time is if a positive antardasha comes there will be talks about your marriage somebody will talk so you will get proposal you will see but it will not be finalized and the wedding will not take place unfortunately and you have to wait till the next mahadasha comes okay and yes uh, if you are enjoying this content don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section and i will be in new delhi india from 25th november to 2nd of december if you would like to meet uh, one on one with me and get a personalized consultation please send us a email at exoticastrology@gmail.com all right number 3 frequency of people that you meet now what does this mean this means the mahadasha will decide what is the level of the people that he will meet so for example if your mahadasha is indicating you will meet a lot of spiritual people so then what will happen is suddenly you will get some association of a big spiritual community or the people who you meet may be a bit more spiritual i mean they may be materialistic but a bit more spiritual than normal people or even if they are very materialistic they will somehow end up giving you some lessons spiritually so and on the contrary if the mahadasha is indicating you will meet too many materialistic people so then what happens if even if you are in a spiritual community you will run behind you know some post position or you know opposite sex or money or whatever you know recognition okay so you will start becoming materialistic even if you are in a spiritual community and if you are already in a materialistic uh, community without any spiritual association you will you will become like ultra materialistic okay so this is what happens uh, the mahadasha will decide what kind of people you meet number 4 it decides amount of help that you will get from people in society how much people will help you how much they will not that mahadasha decides now this is in a broader spectrum okay so many times it happens if mahadasha changes and uh, mahadasha is extremely favorable you will suddenly meet people who will just help you like anything you know and not only help you they will just they will go out of their way and you know give you things give not in terms of like you know monetary uh, in monetary terms but they can give you you know contacts they can give you their uh influence uh, and uh, yeah you can kind of use their power okay so this is fantastic because your whole life changes and if mahadasha is indicating you will not get help then you what do they say in hindi kasna uh, padega <laughs> you have to get down and do it yourself there's no word to help all right Number five, it will decide the amount of luxury that you will enjoy. This is also there. So, will you buy a Toyota or a Maruti or a Mercedes or a Rolls Royce? That will be decided by the Mahadasha. कौन सी गाड़ी में जाएंगे? कहाँ जाएगा तू? Will you ride a donkey or a horse or? On an elephant, that the Mahadasha will decide. Gode ki sawari, hathi ki sawari, gade ki sawari. All right. Number six, it will decide the amount of wealth you will earn. Now, will you be a lakh pati, hazar pati, crore pati? Will you be a millionaire? multi millionaire or a billionaire multi billionaire or trillionaire so that level will be decided by the mahadasha lord very 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 important okay so if your mahadasha lord so suppose your guru mahadasha was there and now saturn is indicating you will make millions so suddenly you will come in contact with some opportunity where within a few months or days or weeks you are making millions and all around you everybody is a millionaire or a multi millionaire or a billionaire so that is how it will change okay that is that's the power of the mahadasha and the other is also true if you are a billionaire and the mahadasha has changed and it's indicating problem you will lose everything and you might become a millionaire okay which is like very humiliating sometimes 
Number seven, it will indicate acute health problems. Acute health problems which will maybe not go till the end of the Mahadasha. Yes. <laughs> till the end. So suppose your Saturn Mahadasha has started and Saturn, Saturn Mercury or Saturn Mercury Antardasha has given you some health problem. Then it might happen that in, in some other Antardasha the there is some recovery, but there will be some problem which will continue till the end. Those entire 19 years, it will continue. You will not be able to stop it. Okay. Yeah, th this is how it is. And on the other side, the the other, the other reverse is also true. So, it means if, suppose you already had a health problem in Jupiter. And Saturn now is indicating there is complete recovery. Then suddenly you will see Saturn Mercury or Saturn, Saturn Mercury. It will just go away. Okay, or you will find the right cure. Okay, so that that's exactly what will happen. Number eight, it will indicate happiness or distress at a soul level. So the antardashas will kind of tell you what kind of people you are meeting, you know, this year, that year, two year, three year, one year, six months. So, but the mahadasha will tell you, are you happy meeting these people? Are you very happy or you are unhappy? So, if your Mahadasha is bad, even if you meet the best people, they cannot help you, uh, they cannot upgrade you, they cannot benefit you, they cannot, no. uh, they can't be of any any tangible use to you, any, any benefit. And when I say tangible benefit, I'm not talking in a financial perspective, but suppose you meet a very good person, they will come and do some emotional damage. So you will not be able to benefit from them financially, emotionally, intellectually, status-wise, no benefits, okay? And if the Mahatasha is good, then suddenly uh, you meet people and you are like very inspired. You know, you are like, yes, I will do it. <laughs> Bounce back. <laughs> so you are happy at a soul level, okay? This is very important or miserable. Number nine, major disasters in your life will be indicated by the Mahadasha. Lord, you may think, oh, uh, you know, this Antardasha, Pratyantar gave me accident. Man, you know, I lost one of my limbs, unfortunately. You may think that it's because of these two planets, the Antar and Pratyantar. But actually, no, unless the Mahadasha Lord agrees no Antar Dasha or Pratyantar can give you life-threatening diseases or accidents or any calamity. Like, you know, you are bankrupt, you lost everything. Whatever you earn, you lost everything, okay? Nobody can do that. No Antar Dasha, no Pratyantar. Forget Pratyantar, even no Antar Dasha can do it. Okay, so therefore, careful with that. And number 10, radical changes, positive or negative, that can only happen through Mahadasha. So, for example, the Mahadasha has changed. It, there could be radical change in any area of life. From single, you become married. You know, married, you get divorced. From um, rags, you become riches or riches to rags, whatever. Okay. So, anything radically different or anything which has never, ever, ever happened in your life, that will be decided by the Mahadasha Lord. Okay. That will not happen unless the Mahadasha Lord is agreeing. Positive or negative, you are winning a big lottery or you get some big inheritance. So all the big events, they will be decided by the Mahadasha Lord. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and for personalized consultations the website is down below and new daily visit 25th november to 2nd of december please email at exotic astrology at the rate gmail.com for personalized one-to-one -one consultations all right thank you very much please take care i hope your new mahadasha brings good things to you thank you jai siya <laughs>